baby bear. Little baby bear. That's a little boy, isn't it? No, get out of there. We don't want that. <laughs> Excuse me! Baby bears! The fingers are stuck to my shorts! Ah. Chicken nuggets for tonight, I guess. These little chickens. No, no. Go far. Oh, I can't move now! Of puppies, hey? <laughs> now they've got teeth. <laughs> Excuse. <laughs> Get off. Put on Nova. Oh, they're climbing on my back. Get off. Get off. Ow. Ow. Nova, please stop biting my toe. Who's that? What colour is he? Hello and welcome to Jilly Cube Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. This is just a very quick, I'm um, showing that I re-went over my Dutch pour that I'd previously done. I wasn't happy with the composition of it, I just felt that it was all over the place. So I put a metallic black um, mixed with the metallic black was just mixed with um, my normal pouring medium of glue and water and I just wanted to show you what it turned out like because I was just absolutely amazed by the um, awesome cells I got so if you want to watch the video to the actual um, piece that it was before I will add that video to the end so you don't have to endure it if you have already watched that video that I put on a few days ago so this is just what I ended up doing to that dear old Dutch ball so I went over with the black um, I'm hopefully about to get my heat wand and torch it but it was just, um, I had my camera rolling and I wasn't talking while I was doing it because I just thought, oh, let's just see if, what we get. Because if you remember, if you watched the previous video or if you want to watch it, which will be after this video, um, I only used paint and water. I didn't have any silicone added to any of the paint except the swipe colour only. Um, so... I'm pretty amazed at, look at these absolutely like completely different shape cells than what I would normally get come up. So I thought I've got to put this on my channel because this is kind of like a little breakthrough. Um, so I'm going, I will be testing this again to see if I can use the same paints, just mix with water, no pouring medium, and then only have my swipe colour. I will try the swipe colour without any silicone and then I'll try it with silicone on one side. So, But these cells were um, absolutely phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. I can never say that word. But um, I just needed to bring you in and just give you a little show and tell. So this is a video in reverse. <laughs> You're going to see how it ended up after me chopping and changing it um, and then you'll see the original after if you want to continue on with that so there you go I'm as chuffed to bits with it and I am thinking right there and then of course it needs some balloon magic but only just on the very boundary at the top so it kind of looks like fireworks I wanted to make it look like fireworks or shooting stars or and it turned out quite amazing, even if I do say so myself. So I hope you enjoyed the little bit of puppy cam that was on at the beginning. Just trying to keep you guys, the, um, as many of you are interested to see the progress of the puppies growing. Um, 
because they won't be with me for much longer. I think I've got them another three weeks before they're all off to their new super duper homes. So that's good that they've all got great homes to go to. But yeah, look at this. It's just like fireworks going off. It's I was so thrilled with it. So I'm really so excited now today. I will be out in my art studio just trying this if this was just a fluke with paint water and just that swipe colour, it's really quite, um, it was quite amazing, it was. I really uh, enjoyed doing this pour and enjoyed the results immensely, so I hope you do too. There will be a few photos of the close-ups of the cells, so please have a look because they're quite extraordinary and then there will be the original um, painting which was a Dutch pour Dutch pour Aussie kiss type thing that was the beautiful vibrant colors but it just kind of went I just didn't leave any negative space so look at this they were so look at these cells it's quite unbelievable um, they were just cells within cells and just just fantastic just really, really nice. So enjoy the last few photos. And then if you want to carry on with the video of the Dutch pour, then please do so. Thank you guys for watching my channel. And, so, and thank you so much for your lovely, lovely comments and sticking with me through thick and thin. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I try my best and I don't get fantastic results every time. And that's what it's all about, is showing you guys the good with the bad. So, bye for now. Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Australia coming to you with a pour. I'm just trying actually some uh, new paints that my friend from England, um, Jilly, the other Jilly, bought over when she come and visited me. They are the PBO Studio Acrylics High Velocity. So I'm trying these paints because, um, well, she gave them to me to try. So I thought I will give them a go with the um, Dutch pour style and mix them very thin. And I've just mixed them with water only, nothing else. So um, I'm going to just try the Dutch pour. It might be a, a kiss and blow. I am not sure. The white is my Montmartre Studio Acrylics might turn on my overhead light because there's a bit of shadow. Uh, there you go. Is that any better? Um, yeah, so the white is the Montmartre Studio Acrylics that I'm going to put as my base coat. And then, um, which I'm trying to do very, very thin like everybody keeps recommending to me to do when I'm doing the Dutch pour is do your paints really really thin and this might not be thin enough I'm not sure it's not flowing as easy as I see some of the paints flow um, I'll just try it hey that's all you can do you have just have this problem with the Dutch pores of getting my paint thin enough well it's not I can do it thin but I just got this thing that oh my goodness no that must be way too you know too thin it's um ugh. I don't know. I've just got to get over that fear, I suppose. But I'm not worried about that, of um, sending it over the edges yet, because hopefully when I blow it. So, PBO. 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 High viscosity. This is just with water, and I've done them very, very thin. So... No silicone added whatsoever, so I'm going to see how I go. So I'm going to kind of do a big wishbone shape. Oop, well that's like a odd wishbone shape. So that was 
It actually hasn't got the colour. Can't even see. It hasn't even got a colour colour on it. So that's a uh, like a greeny metallicy, and this is a pinky metallicy. And then there is like a teal. It's very sparkly. It's very, very sparkly and nice. So I'm thinking that it will give good results. But um, you know, Dutch Dutch poor Aussie kiss style is what I think I will do. But let's just see how we oh how we go. I'm gonna put some real bright orange in there. This one isn't um, isn't metallic. It's not shiny like the others. So yeah, Jilly, my friend, when she came over in um, I think it was November uh, two thousand nineteen, she bought these with her, and I haven't really tested them out on anything. Oh look what I did. Oh, that'll get blown. Yeah, so I'm giving them a go because people in England and Europe can obviously get these. This is like a fluoro pink. So this will be interesting. I mean, there's all sorts of nice bright colours in there. Then I've got just a like a sandy cream colour. I don't think I really need this one in here. But no, oh, in, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's just do it. Do it, do it. I wasn't going to add any dark colour, like I have got a black there, because I just had it overtake a previous pour that I did. So I will just do it this way, see how we go. Let's just do it, as they say. Um, big hair dryer, which I'm looking for a smaller version because this is like a really over the top big chobbly hair dryer, and it's just awkward to use. So obviously, the best thing is is to get one that you feel easy to manage. Okay, I could use my mini blower, but it's a bigger canvas, so I will stick with the big girl. Okay, just, just low. over the whole wow is this trousers okay now I need to um, where is it I need to just take the white over and do my edges. I look at how bright and vibrant the colours are. I mean, of course, I've done what I always do and like filled up nearly my whole canvas when I always would like more negative space. I still can't seem to learn that trick of restraint at this point in time, but um, just. 
pour in the white to cover my very edges but I, I don't worry too much about because they can always be fixed up after even you know after it dry you can go and do your edges with white or um, see what just blow this a bit further See how I go. Oh. oh, what am I doing? Molly, help me, Molly. Oh, I've gone and done something. Wow. I've gone and lost all of my duvelate, the the um, any negatives, baby. You know it is so bright and vibrant, and it's oh, it's so sheeny, like it's got a real sheen to it. It's crazy gorgeous. It, the cells look in it, and there is no um, silicone in this at all. bit odd there I love this vibrancy that's pretty gorgeous thank you Gillian England who sent me these paints It's always nice to have a try with the different paints it's lovely I mean this is way over the top I should scoop out all this center but it is so bright and vibrant I just know so many people that will love this I might just see what a little teeny tiny balloon kiss does in here it may not add anything to it but just some of the no it doesn't really it's not really doing much because the paint is very thin so it's just to sort of put some bit of color in where there's a bit of blobs of white so I might leave that I would only do a few balloon kissing around this very bottom edge so I mean if you were doing it and you didn't want to do that then obviously it's your choice so remember your art room your rules your way my rules are there's no rules so uh, it's all good well that was fun and I will definitely definitely give that another go because those colors are so they're just gorgeous very nice thank you Jilly for um bringing those over to Australia with you when you came and uh, giving me an opportunity to give this particular technique a go. So it's a bit crazy, but you know, I love it. It's got lacing and considering it had no silicone or anything, that's still a bit too wet look to do anything. I love it. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's my my jam my thing i love bright vibrant i love over the top as you know i'm not a min minimalistic person even though i do like some i like minimalistic but it's just not my preference 
So, let me know what you think, guys. It's definitely better looking at it probably from this. Oh, that paint is very runny. Oh my goodness. That's what I don't have a, I don't, I have a hard time with how runny the paint has to be for the Dutch pores. But I just can't bring myself to <laughs> make the paint runny enough normally. So thank you so much for watching my little creation today. Let me know what you think, but I'll tell you it is so vibrant. So I will be putting photos on my acrylic art by Julie Cube Facebook page. Um, yeah, it's pretty out there, <laughs> uh, dried photos, but wait for the end and I'll put more photos and um, show you how it is. And until next time, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't done so, please do so. It's absolutely free. So yeah, let me know what you think. I know lots of you give me some really good tips and tricks for different techniques and I take those on board for sure. And thanking Molly from uh, Molly's channel. She does, everybody tells me each time I do a Dutch pot. Have you watched Molly? Molly does really good Dutch pot. I know she, I am subscribed to Molly's channel. I think she's the most gorgeous young lady. I just love her to bit. She does wonderful, wonderful work. So, um, yeah, Molly, I need you here in my studio in Australia. Can you please pop over? So thank you, guys. Thanks to Molly. Thank you. Bye for now.